This is Ryan Elliott from Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'd like to be joined by Maurizio Lara today. Maurizio, gracias por tu tiempo. ¿Cómo está? Hola, muchas gracias. Y, y bueno, vamos a darle. Muchas gracias por la, por la entrevista. Y, y bueno, muchos saludos. Thank you, Maurizio. Now, look, it's been six months since your stunning win over here against Josh Warrington. I just wanted to go back to that firstly, and I was hoping you could tell me what the reaction was like when you got back home after that, that fantastic victory. What was it like for you? Yeah, it was lovely. First and foremost, how I was welcomed back by my family. And then in terms of, of Mexico, that achievement it was really important for me. And I felt a lot of gratitude for the way that they um, appreciated what I'd done. Um, Rito, this is the first time you and I have spoken. So I wanted to ask you a bit more about what box it means to your family. So as far as I understand it, your dad didn't actually want you to box at first, you and your brother when you were younger. He's now obviously in your corner, been by your side ever since. He's your trainer. Your brother boxes as well. Can you just try and explain to me, if you can, what it is that boxing means to your family? So, yeah, so I, I started off boxing when I was eight years of age. Um, my dad did kind of pass on that bug uh, because my brother, uh, Ulysses, was, was a fighter and I just wanted to be exactly like him. Um, and I've gone on and I, and I feel like now I'm fighting in the big leagues and I really want to shake up um, the, the division at 126. Um, and I want to fight whoever I can and, and really have a huge impact. But in terms of boxing, it's just a huge part of me. If I don't train, I, I'm, I feel upset. I don't feel myself. Um, my family are a great source of motivation in, in all my training as well. And they give me great support and they spur me on. My wife, Barbara, my daughter, Aitana, and my, my brothers, these are all a huge source of motivation for me. And they've really helped me train extremely well for this fight this time throughout my preparation. That's one thing I wanted to ask you about, Mauricio, there. You mentioned your daughter. You're, of course, a father. Uh, I wanted to ask you about how uh, the arrival of your daughter changed your motivation, how much extra hunger it gave you to provide for her as well. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's made me hugely motivated and motivated me you know, even more. I think all parents want the best for their children. And, and when I'm fighting, I'm always thinking about the future that I can provide for her and, and give her everything she needs. So I feel like I need to be strong for her, uh, particularly now because I've been three months without seeing her now. And although it's been tough, I think taking a victory back home to Mexico um, would be really something that I, that, that I would feel great about. Marito, you've been boxing since you were eight years old. You've never had it easy at all. You're here on the big stage now, though. I just wanted to know through the hard times, you know, even going back to losing your pro debut, for example, did you always have the belief that one day you would be here on the big stage? Yes, so it's, it, you know, from those defeats, I think you have to look at um, all the big boxers um, suffer a defeat at one point. Like Chavez lost, De La Hoya lost, Mohamed Ali lost as well. So I think the most important thing is that you learn from those experiences. I learned a lot from that first defeat. I learned even more from my second loss. But I also, I always had people that believed in me. My manager, Alejandro Brito, always believed in me and believed that I could once again be where I am now, which is, as you say, on the, on the big stage. So let's talk about Josh Warrington. The rematch is so close now for, for Headingley Leeds. What do you expect Josh to do differently this time around now that he's, he's had a look at you and obviously suffered that defeat as well? So, yeah, so in, all fighters can have a strategy and, and you won't really see what the strategy is until he comes out and shows what it is on the day. We have various strategies um, and I'm really excited, even more excited that I'm going to fight in his backyard because it almost puts more pressure on him and I hope that he is true to his word that, that he retires if he does lose this fight. I watched the, the matchroom video you did where they came over and spent some time with you in, in training camp, Mauricio. It was, it was a brilliant video. Um, one thing you said is that Josh will regret the things he said since the first fight. I was just hoping you could elaborate and explain what it was that Josh has said that, that you weren't too happy with. So, yeah, so I think he made a big mistake uh, when he made, when he criticised my family, my father. Uh, he, he's seen my good side um, and now he's going to, to witness what my bad side is like. Um, as I've said before, I've been working hard. I'm like a, a train without any brakes on at the moment uh, and I can't wait um, to take his head off when it comes, when we come to meet in the ring. I, I'm, I just cannot wait for this fight. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a, a big change in demeanour for you. You seem very businesslike and very focused this time. Uh, there was there was a lot more respect last time. Um, now that it's it's almost here, um, you've had a lot more notice 
this time around. Are you confident that you can finish this fight even quicker this time? So I don't think there's any way he can stop me. I think it would be it, it would be putting his own nail in his coffin if he, if, if he tries to stop me, because that won't happen. Um, and in terms of respect, there is no respect there anymore. I mean, he was number one, and now I see him uh, as a nobody. I think he really underestimated me on the 13th um, of February last time out. And it's, and it's the worst thing you can do in your life is underrate a Mexican and because underestimate a Mexican because we have balls and that's the worst thing he could have done. So I think he's going to see what happens on the 13th, on the 4th, should I say. I found it very interesting, Mauricio, that you said, you said you're happy this is in front of his fans. You're happy to be going to his hometown as well. Have you heard much about the Leeds fans? They're, they're very famous over here for being a, a very passionate uh, fan base and uh, a very loud set of supporters. What do you expect on, on September 4th? Are you looking forward to that, relishing that? I've, I've seen I've seen what the fans are like, seen what the British fans are like. I've looked at, you know, um, Pacquiao, Hatton, Mayweather, Hatton. I've seen how passionate the fans are. And listen, I have respect for his fans. Um, but the person I have no respect for is him. I don't have 1% of, of respect for him anymore. And, and believe me, this is the only training camp I've gone into where I've been delighted to get up and train every single day. I just, I just cannot wait for this fight to come around. Just a couple more from me, Maurizio. Uh, over here, we've had Lee Wood win the WBA regular title. Kid Galahad has the, has the IBF. The Navarrete fight for you would also be huge for Mexico. Have you allowed yourself to think about these huge fights that could be ahead if you take care of Josh Warrington? So, yeah, um, right now my mind is completely focused on Josh uh, and Josh Warrington and that fight. I have no other plans and I won't make any other plans uh, beyond uh, the 4th of September. And so, God willing, I can win that fight. And then in terms of future fights, it's whichever champion will give me the opportunity. You know, I want to go on, as I've said before, be a world champion at 126. And whoever gives me the opportunity to, to do that, I will. And, I'm, you know, I believe I will go on and become world champion. And final question from me, Maurizio. There is a huge night coming up for Mexico on November 6th. Canelo Alvarez is going for the undisputed super middleweight title against Caleb Plant. I just wanted to know how you see Canelo getting on in that fight. Yeah, so, you know, I think in terms of that fight, I think Saul is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Um, so whatever weight he fights at, you know, I think he'll do the business. I'll be completely behind him, as will everyone else in Mexico, and it makes me really proud to... To, and, and it's a huge source of motivation that we have a champion like him doing what he's doing. Mauricio, muchas gracias. Uh, buena suerte. I'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Thank you.